Reducing the amount of CO2 we release into our atmosphere is a daunting challenge with huge stakes for the entire planet. Many scientists are looking for ways to capture and store the unwanted gas. But in California, Dr. Naveed Aslam and Byron Elton of Carbon Sciences hope to capture CO2 and turn it into something we actually need, fuel. Microorganisms in nature turn CO2 into fuel with the help of enzymes. But it's a time-consuming and energy-draining process. Can it be improved upon in the lab? And so our technology takes that knowledge that we have from nature, we do it much more efficiently, we do it much faster, and we produce the same fuels that we're using today. One key hurdle involves time. When we first introduced the prototype in March of this year, the entire process of turning CO2 into fuel took between 8 and 10 hours. Imagine a giant reactor attached to the stack of a coal-fired power plant. And imagine that the reactor could mix CO2 with enzymes to create fuel. If the process takes 10 hours, the reactor would need to be large enough to hold a full 10 hours worth of emissions, making it far too large and expensive. But an innovation in carbon sciences technology may change all that. And for the commercial viability of this, it's really important to get it way down. And so today, our goal is to turn CO2 back into fuel in under 10 minutes. Are you ready, Naveed? CO2 is added to a solution containing protected, more resilient enzymes. Mother Nature is put into overdrive. At 9 minutes 47 seconds, the experiment is complete, 50 times faster than ever before. All right, you got it? Let me see. Yeah. There you go. Just to recap this, Navid, so in March, 8 to 10 hours. Today, under 10 minutes, okay. CO2 to fuel, set it on fire. Sure. If carbon sciences keeps reducing the time of their reactions while gradually extending the life of the enzymes they use, their breakthrough could revolutionize the future of CO2 capture and energy use. Of all the technologies being developed, we humbly believe that we're developing the most powerful sustainable fuel technology in the world. So you get all these people saying, let's capture the CO2 and then we'll spend a bunch of money to hide it or do it. And we're saying, no, no, give it to us and we'll turn it back into fuel. That's pretty cool. Almost too good to be true. But we have a high degree of confidence that we're going to get there. You got it, baby. Look at that. Nicely done. <laughs>